Hey, this is Dave Humpers from hpyloriSymptoms.com. And I want to just spend a couple of moments talking to you about one of the very best lab tests that we run as functional medicine practitioners. It's called an organic acids test. It's a single urine sample that gives you information about many, many different areas of metabolism. What you basically do is you pee in a pot first thing in the morning, you take a pipette, you pipette a little bit of urine into a test tube, you freeze it, and you send it to the lab. It's that simple. Test kits are sent to your home, and then you receive the results on a PDF document. Now, organic acids are compounds that are excreted in the urine that give us information about specific metabolic pathways in the body and also about digestive function as well. And I want to just start with the digestive function element. Certain chemicals build up in the urine because they leak through from the gut into the liver and then are filtered through the kidneys. And these compounds give us information about whether you're digesting protein properly, whether you have certain bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine, and whether you have candida overgrowth in the small intestine. And this is really important because candida and certain bacterial overgrowth situations cannot be identified by stool analysis. So most people think that if they want to get a really comprehensive overview of how the digestive system is working, all they need to do is a stool sample. And the stool tests that we run are absolutely fantastic, but they may not find candida every time, and they don't find a condition called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO. And SIBO is getting more and more attention in integrative medicine as a reason for things like heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux disease, bloating, diarrhea, and irritable bowel syndrome. And SIBO is also associated with a number of different disorders elsewhere in the body as well. So it's really important to figure out whether or not you have SIBO. Clues will include loose stools, bloating, heartburn, and other digestive symptoms. So now we've looked at the information about the digestive system that can be gleaned from the organic acids test. Let's look at some of the other incredibly useful information that the test can give us. It gives us information about energy production, literally how every cell in your body produces energy, which of course, if you're feeling tired and run down or low, can be absolute gold. We also get to know about your B vitamin status, things like B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, and even folate and folic acid. The test gives us a really good spectrum of information relating to your B vitamin status. We also get information about neurotransmitter metabolism. That's things like serotonin, dopamine, and adrenaline, which are really important chemicals that regulate mood and how you feel about yourself. The test also gives us valuable information about inflammation in the body, oxidative stress, which is a process that leads to disease. That also gives us an indication of whether you need antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, and what have you. And finally, we also get some really great information about whether you've been exposed to toxins and how well your liver is able to deal with those toxins. So in a nutshell, the organic acid test is giving you information about seven or eight different categories of your metabolism. Fat metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, energy production, B vitamin status, neurotransmitter status and metabolism, inflammation, oxidative stress, liver function and detoxification, and of course the digestive markers as well. I call it a Rolls-Royce test because it gives you such a huge array of different metabolic markers and gives you a real window into how well your body is working. So it's not just a test that looks at digestive function, although that is incredibly useful. It looks at how well your body is working in general. And in my opinion, it's probably the single most important test that we run with the majority of our clients and patients. If you'd like more information about how to do an organic acids test yourself, why not visit my website? Just go to hpylorisymptoms.com and you will find a wealth of information about organic acids testing and other functional testing that you can do at home to uncover why you don't feel well. My name is Dave Hompez. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I look forward to sharing more information with you soon. Thank you.